Hey guys, Twigs here. So we're going to be checking out the um, version 4.0 special program for Genshin Impact. Um, this is the Big Fontaine live stream. So I am definitely, definitely excited to see what we're going to get here. I'm hoping the water, um, what they show with the water areas. <laughs> I'm, lo I'm looking forward to seeing what those are like. I'm, I'm hoping that water levels... And a lot of games have been kind of mixed to poor reviews just because the nature of doing underwater stuff, it always bogs things down. It always slows things down. I just played Metroid Prime. Um, and yes, even those small water areas feel like they slow you down because that's just the nature of water itself. So I'm looking to see how Fontaine takes on that challenge and to see, and to see if they can pull it through. Let's uh, <clears throat> let's get ready to jump into this. Um, hit that like and subscribe button. Hitting that like button helps us get this video out there. Hitting that subscribe button helps us grow a community over here. Helps us grow the channel. It helps me out. And if you hit that like and subscribe button, I'll greatly appreciate it. You'll be subscribing to more gaming content like this. So hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be informed whenever I go live or upload any new content. And let's jump right into this. All right, here we go. Let's do this. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Okay. Oh? Oh? I, Thosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro. All right. And acknowledge the value and significance of your trip. Now, you may rejoice in this. It's very beautiful. Like I said this when they showed- Oh my god, that's even more beautiful than I expected! it's right to treat a trial like it's an opera? <laughs> to the people oh, of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. It's so good. Welcome one and all to the opera epiclase. Watch carefully now. Blink and you might miss it. All right, so we need some Lenny gameplay. What do we got here? Wait a minute. Step Was right he up. cards? And over here is my sister Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Ta-da! All right, Lynette. Sword user. She's got like a shadowy run ability. That's pretty neat. Here comes the finale. That's pretty neat. Jumps in a cat form and a hat. All right. Oh, so some bosses. Okay. The big crab fire boss, alright. I want to spend some time at the bottom of the sea in peace. Alright, from the net. Getting gear. The wielder of the bell! He have finally he finally has arrived! Sky from far enough underwater, even the sun is soft on the ice. These fossils are all that's left of these beautiful creatures. I wonder how long before the rest of the world becomes part of this underwater museum, too. Okay. I'm. Huh? Who what? am I? Oh, okay. The water is gradually swallowing our memories. It won't be long before it swallows us. We've been trying to find out how the Oratrice operates. We want to know why it has consciousness. All right, what's why it, what is the Oratrice? Is Man, this looks so good. It's raining. 
What's up? All right, what's we up? We must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. Is this part of the show? You've got to be kidding. Uh, what happened? Charges have now been pressed, and as such, a trial is in order. Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know and seek the protection of the guards. I knew it! Guards. We are gonna be... It's a whole army of Gardamax. We're gonna be framed! This <laughs> is indeed the finale! Your so-called justice, your beloved drama, are turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. Ah, Tartaglia shows up! <laughs> so this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too! Old Tartag shows up for whatever reason. <laughs> okay. All right, so this is where they're showing off the underwater stuff. So we just jump right in. Okay, literally, we jump right in. 那这一次啊，我们为原神中所有的角色都新增了一套水下的动作。那大家也可以自由选择自己喜欢的角色在水下游玩。呃，为了保证呢，玩家在水下探索的一个流畅性，我们这一次没有在。So far it looks good. I like. It doesn't look like it slows down things too much. 氧气条这种设计在常规的情况下，主要是被用于限制水下的行动时间，来增加玩家的一个紧迫感。啊，但是枫丹的水下区域它没有这样一个设计目的啊，所以基于同样的原因啊，我们在枫丹其实也在允许玩家下潜自由探索的水域取消了冲刺呢，会下体力调的长度，不需要额外解锁。这种快速的长
it's basically their way of trying to change up gameplay. That way they keep things interesting. Uh, so that way there's some inter interesting interaction when it comes to the Fontaine enemies and the Fontaine um, objects when you're exploring. Okay, so <clears throat> his auto attacks are basically just throwing uh, cards. He's a bow character. He has a unique charge shot ability, it looks like. His ult turns him into a cat that looks like a... has to do some kind of pyro stuff. Tayo 但从性格上来说 林尼特要低调, 跟哥哥姐姐不同的是，菲米尼她并不喜欢抛头露面的场合，她呢有意识的拉开了自己和灯光还有人群的距离，喜欢在独属于她的海底畅游和水下生物作伴，也喜欢阅读童话故事，或者
Weapon, the member, remember, the weapon banner is a trap. This bow is a great looking bow, but the weapon banner is a trap. You probably do not need it. Alright, so we're going to get a free Lynette. That's cool. Free Lynette's always cool. You just got to reach adventure rank 25 to invite her, so most people will be able to invite her. And the shooting player. A five star weapon. Oh boy! These are the forgeable weapons. These look nice. Um, fi Finale of the Deep. That's uh, looks like the sword. Title Shadows to Claymore. Rifle Reward is the um, staff, pole arm, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Flowing Purity is the catalyst, and Song of Stillness is the bow. These look. These are actually nice looking weapons. These are really nice looking weapons. I like the aesthetic. The whole dark blue. Um, kind of um, pearl white with um, the light blue um, kind of addition to the each weapon. These are nice looking weapons. I like them. These are, these are really nice. And the, oh, what the? You can't just glaze over that? What? They glazed over this! These are new Battle Pass weapons! Granted, you gotta buy the Battle Pass. But it's been forever since we got a new Battle Pass. Like, no, we have never! We have been stuck with the same Battle Pass weapons for like the last three-ish years. Alright. The Wolf Fang Sword. Talking, st talking Stick. That's the Claymore, okay. Um, Ballad of the Fjords is the pole arm. Sacrificial Jade is the catalyst, and Scion on the Scion of the Blazing Sun. Goodness, if I can talk, is the bow. That's a nice looking bow. I'm lo I'm going to be looking. I'm pretty sure crit rate is going to be the substat, but because that's typically what the substats are. Um, but these are nice looking weapons. I'm I'm going to be very interested to see their abilities. And then. Um, I think, oh, okay, fishing vendors. So this is the new fishing weapon. It's basically a pipe, but I'm pretty sure it's going to have some kind of interesting ability. Also, we get to keep the, 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 the actual five-star weapon, so we have more weapons to pick from. Oh, shit. We got ourselves new artifacts. Cool, cool. So they're going to be... Creating a multi-layered map, a new party setup screen, and genius invocation TG TCG spectating system, so people can just watch people play card the card game. Okay, whatever. Okay. So yeah, you can be able to look like if you like. Let's for example look at the desert. You'll be able to pull up the map and look right like. Go a layer lower to see if, if you're like in a cave or something in the like the desert area. That is actually kind of neat. That is actually really helpful. That is neat. But yeah, the desert, like you see on the tab on the right side of the screen, and you'll be able to pull up where you're at in that like, area. Okay. So animations for selecting characters, cool. And you can like re like reposition them. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And the background. That's neat. So a lot of good stuff here. I am pretty much excited to jump into Fontaine. Um, I'm pretty sure the re like we saw the art, we saw the aesthetic, we saw the design, the layout of the region. The region looks beautiful. It looks amazing, and all the characters look interesting. All the characters look like they have a lot of stuff going on, and that's what I like to see. I like unique characters, and Fontaine looks like they're delivering on unique characters and a very unique world. Um, and I'm pretty sure, based on what we've seen in the trailer, that there is something pretty ridiculous and very interesting and potentially a little shady going on with Fontaine's justice system. Novelette and 
of Fossilor, Fossilor, I'm going to butcher their names until I actually meet these characters in game. <laughs> um, they look like they got something going on. I mean, I called it back in the Overture trailer that we are going to be framed for something. <laughs> We are going to get framed for something. That's how it always goes. We are going to get framed. And it's going to be up to probably the, the magic duo, Friminette and Navia, to help us out. That's probably what's going on. So I'm interested in the story. I'm interested in the region. Gameplay-wise, I am... I think, and I'm feeling like, Genshin Impact has done their best to try to make underwater areas, like underwater gameplay work. It looks like they have done their best to try to pull this off. So, I'm looking forward to trying out the underwater stuff to see if maybe they have done what they need to do to make it work. Um, when it comes to... The new gameplay with the um, Aussie uh, Numa combat system. I'm very intrigued to try it out because it's their way of trying to shake up the gameplay in the meta. And since Fontaine is the new thing, we're definitely going to have to invest in characters that do both Aussie stuff and Numa stuff. Because having those types of uh, arc, those, those arc types allows you to progress with combat because it we saw that Ozia I think stuns Numa and vice versa. So combat wise we are gonna get a, we're gonna get a little bit of a shakeup in the meta. The bosses look interesting, the dancing robots and the volcanic crab. <laughs> they look like interesting bosses. I'm definitely gonna be looking forward to trying um, that uh, trying to battle those guys. So, a lot of good stuff here. Um, I I am very pretty much hyped for Fontaine. The story looks good. The combat looks interesting. Underwater gameplay looks interesting. So, good stuff here. And I, th I will give them credit. The uh, new layout for the character select screen looks pretty neat. So, overall, I'm very much intrigued. I'm definitely down for checking out Fontaine. Fontaine looks really interesting, and I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to meeting the characters and stuff. I think this is this is but this is what we've been waiting for since the last two updates because the last two updates have been very much filler. So we're gonna see if Fontaine was worth the wait. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. You guys have been absolutely great. Uh, definitely head down to the comments. Let me know what you guys are thinking about Fontaine. And I want to hear your thoughts. Are you looking forward to the story of Fontaine? Are you looking forward to checking out the region and all that, all that stuff it has to offer, especially with the under, underwater gameplay and how they've applied underwater gameplay to even the overworld stuff? Are you guys looking forward to meeting the characters? Which one of these characters are looking like they're going to be your new favorite? <laughs> are you looking forward to the new Ozzy Anuma uh, combat mechanic and the new bosses and stuff. Let me know in the comments. I want to hear what you guys are thinking. Let's have a discussion about it. And while you're at it, hit that like and subscribe button. Hitting that like and subscribe button helps out the channel. Helps uh, grow the channel. Helps get the video out there. And by subscribing, you're subscribing to more gaming content by myself. And I appreciate that a lot. Hit that notification bell so you'll be informed when I go live or upload any new content. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for hanging out. You guys have been great. I'll catch you guys later.